Princess Adventure Ken versus the full collection of these Chelsea Dreamtopias coming up after this. I love Ken's and I love Chelsea's. They're two of my favorite parts of the Barbie. They are my favorite parts of Barbie. This collection is kind of strange. It came out at the same time as the Mermaid collection. The boy is the only one I got from the Mermaid collection. And then there were these four. And I was trying to be good and I bought the two that I liked the most. And it's these two. And I've already reviewed these, but like how, look, she has green hair and this boy and he's got translucent boots on and wow, a new head sculpt on him and everything. So I had to get these two, but then I really regretted not getting the other two. And what's funny about these is they're also mermaids, but they're mermaids with legs. Whoa, whoops. And I want the, I wanted, I had to get the full collection. I would also like to get the full collection of the mermaids, but I did just get the boy because there are so many different colors of them and they're $10 each in Canada. And that would be crazy expensive. Uh, $10 currently at Toys R Us. That's where you can get these in Canada. They seem to be very rare though. So you really have to be lucky to find them. Like I said, I had picked up just these two and then I couldn't find these forever. These two also had really wonky eyes. So when I was finding them in the store, their eyes were wonky and I didn't want to get them. So I held out for one good eyes. I'm very happy. Now there's also a new series of Barbies and it is called Barbie Princess Adventure. And it seems to be very pastel-y, very sleepover. In fact, there is a sleepover set and it kind of looks like Barbie is dressed up like three-year-old little girls who dress up like princesses. That's kind of what it looks like to me, and I think that's kind of hilarious. But the can is a standout. I don't think I'm going to get any of them, even though the colors are sick. Like really, like dusty rose and sea foam and all these pastel colors together. But it is a little juvenile I would say and I yeah it's a little juvenile for Barbie to be even wearing they have fashion packs and there are some Chelsea sets it kind of is kind of Dreamtopia ish there's a lot of pets involved it's one of the first movies that they've had in a long time I believe the can is awesome the jacket is awesome everything about him is awesome so I guess I'm gonna open up him first I think this is a good representation of what the design of the line looks like. There's also a lot of metallics. It's really weird. It's kind of spacey meets princess meets bedtime. Oh, the jacket feels weird. Okay, so when I saw the announcement of this can and in this jacket with the epaulette and the chains and the decorations, like he's fully decorated, so cool. He comes with a crown, like Ever After High. Oh, the crown is opened in the back. I am going to have to take out the fasteners because I would like to put on and off the crown. I hope I don't regret this so that they did punch holes in his head. Oh, in four places. But see how those fasteners are showing up? That is unacceptable for a toy. So it's not part of the toy design. So I can rarely accept those in there. However, I do not think the crown is going to stay on by itself. However, the crown wasn't on in the best position, and that is a much more stylish way to wear your crown. However, he now has all of these holes in his head. The hair looks like a different color than we've gotten before with this fashionista or this can head. I guess it is the same as this guy. He's pretty much the same can, same skin tone. His eyes are more blue, but the hair color and everything is the same. And let me give you a close up of this crown again. Very ever after high, I like that. That plastic detail on his jacket is awesome. And of course he's not wearing anything underneath his jacket. Super pleathery. Really, really cool material that it's made out of. I like that. And then I like these sneakers a lot too. I don't recognize the sneaker design. I don't know if it's new. It says 
can on the bottom. I guess it can't be new, but I don't think it's a sneaker I have. At least I don't have it in white. And then these are the distressed jeans. Whoa, they're elastic waisted. I was not expecting that. They do have some detailed stitched pockets. Yes, yes, there is some stitching going on there, but it's an elastic waist. And they're distressed and bleached in places. And the arms are of the outward persuasion. So there's more mobility on this guy than the other can, and he is not the beach body or anything. He has the belted underwear. Yeah, super cool. Let's take a look at this jacket. And besides, he needs to be dressed like I am anyway. It's a hot day here in Canada. It's fastened inside. It's just sewn on the sturdy plastic. There's that fleur-de-lis there on the shoulder. That's a French thing. That's a French Canadian thing. And the metal decorations and the studs are really printed on nicely. That is really nice detail. Look how good that that jacket looks sparkling in the lights here. Oh yeah, I love that. That is a choice piece. All right, let's get out the mermaid babies. So these girls, the Chelsea's these days kind of most often have painted on tops. And that is what that one looks like. I kind of don't mind it. It reminds me of She-Ra. She-Ra had a molded on top back in the 80s. She's got this mermaid skirt with the pink fin and these pearly shoes. And you see the sparkles in the tool at the bottom? It's nice and she's got the blue hair. She's cute. We've got a crown with a pink heart on it. Yeah, I see an elastic holding it on. I'm not going to mess with it. I want the crown to stay on. Normally I would take off the elastic, but I would rather it stay on than deal with my OCD issues. Cute, cute, cute. The green-haired princess is definitely the winner from this collection, but it's so good to get a new Chelsea boy head sculpt. Then we've got this pink-haired girl. And Chelsea's hair is always a little bit more stiff. Yeah, it's not as soft as Barbie Fashionista's hair. These ones are doing pretty good for colorful hair, I have to say. This is what her headband looks like. I can't really make out. I guess it's yellow flower action going on there. She's cute and she's got little yellow elf shoes. They kind of are little elves. That's what I was describing him and her as. Elf prince and princesses. And then she's got starfish on her little mermaid skirt. And the print on that is this magical little Buddhist yogi necklace going on there. I got a plastic band cut up. Their shoulders don't have outward movement. They just rotate around. The headbands are put on very nicely with the elastic band. Again, I'm not going to mess with that. This is cute stuff, guys. This is really, really cute. I opened up some really cute stuff today. They don't go together but they do go together because it's like my favorite Barbie stuff. So awesome. Tough and cute. What I like in toys. Tough, cute toys. Really nice jacket too. Stylish. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I wonder if his skin tone is the same color as Mermaid Ken. If I get my Ken out, which I have right here, my Mermaid Ken, wait, is he here? I thought I had both Mermaid Kens here. Oh no, I don't, I don't have uh, the guy with the long hair. I guess I have my fashionista version of him. So he would look great with this crown on. I have another Merkin that I put this head on. They're the perfect skin tone matches. But this, see how good he looks with the crown? And he can be king of, of the mermaid elves. So that would be great. But you can also put it on this can 
And maybe they didn't use this head on purpose because this hair doesn't really work with the crown. It looks pretty good though too. I guess with the fasteners it could look better. But yeah, this guy, this guy totally takes the crown. Oh man, I'm so sad I don't have my mermaid Ken here. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram, Too Hunky. I will definitely post a picture with Mermaid Ken with this hair, wearing this crown. It'll be an epic picture for sure.